we are just checking that our stream is live or not and uh, we will start in a second yeah. yes we are live so yes we are live and uh, good afternoon friends and uh, happy janmashtami to everyone uh, in india and in netherlands and across the globe uh, to uh, people uh, celebrating janmashtami today we have uh, this is uh, the 22nd day of career pathshala and uh, uh, we are uh, we have uh, crossed 3 weeks of uh, continuous interaction with uh, uh, people from industry mentors a lot of alumni is coming and talking uh, as subject matter experts and uh, this uh, journey of uh, career pathshala is now in its last lap where we intend to bring some of the best speakers and some of the people who can actually give you that last minute of uh, uh, preparation uh, tips for uh, not only your campus hiring for making a good career so uh, to let me take this opportunity to introduce sandeep uh, prasad from amazon and uh, welcome sandeep to career pathshala and uh, we really Uh, it's an honor to host you and uh, to have you at career pathshala so presently sandeep is working in amazon at uh, amsterdam uh, definitely it would be uh, and he's here to guide you with about the career prospects of freshers how how you can avail the opportunities to give a brief background uh, sandeep was among the first to get campus hired uh, from a a tier 2 college like uh, a private college or uh, where amazon came for internship based campus hiring and uh, uh, from a tier 2 college to amazon directly as a campus hiring uh, working with people from iits and its and not only working but growing within the company in amazon has been a great journey it it, it makes us proud to see uh, sandeep uh, uh, not only getting into amazon with his two more colleagues but growing up so once again sandeep warm welcome from all the 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 junior uh, fraternity of engineering students and uh, uh, from uh, your uh, alma mater from uh, cii young indians for come taking out time coming on the show for guiding uh, a warm welcome to you sandeep uh thank you anil it's been really i'm really happy to be here and uh, Uh, happy then much to me to all i hope all of them are doing good and um, i would really like to take this opportunity to help you and guide you in whatever course you choose for the next year or uh, your yeah, for career i'll be happy to answer the questions that you have guys sure so uh, setting the context and uh, talking about uh, uh, ma- many students in uh, after 12th uh, they apply for the the right exams of jwe they want to aspire to be a part of some of the premium institutions of the country uh, a large chunk of uh, students write jwe and mm-hmm. land up with not getting a, a choice of college a choice of what they deserve and somewhere it has been a debate about the marking mm-hmm. patterns of jwe and how it comes and all mm-hmm. so uh, that would be probably your thoughts when you came out of 12th and you probably were thinking something better and then you land up with the uh, making your choices so uh, we just want to know about your journey and uh, into this context when people could not uh, get the choice of college how uh, how you made it to what you are today so what what was your self drive and self motivation sure so i can give you a brief about my background or my schooling and how i reached like whatever uh, whatever place i am in so i am from bhopal so i did my schooling entire schooling from st xavier's bhopal and uh, like all the all the pcm students i too had a dream of getting into iit jee which unfortunately didn't happen but that's okay like uh, the road never ends there so like i always say and then uh, probably when i got into lnc city uh, like we did have quite a big opportunity even in lnc city and uh, uh, the the point is like um, um yeah you are definitely not going to be at par with iitians or the or like nitians but the point is if you work hard enough like good enough and target uh, to a specific stream then definitely there's a very big scope for that so i can give you like what i did like um, 
uh, I was preparing for uh, some of the competitive exams like GATE and things like that, and uh, which really focuses on the core of your subject domain, like whatever your particular stream is. Like for me, computer science or IT was my batch. So uh, that's specifically where I targeted. I basically focus more towards the core subjects, which is data structures, algorithms, databases, which is something that I have been telling all along to all my juniors. And uh, basically, that's it. Like all the all the companies who really target to hire the freshers, this is the basic thing that they look for. They are not looking forward to any of the flashy things like uh, maybe you know 10, 15 languages, but if you miss on the basic aspects of programming, uh, which is like logic, logical building or algorithms, or data, then there's no point, right? So th that's something that I really wanted to focus on and where I really invested my time in. And fortunately, we had an opportunity of Amazon coming into our campus uh under Anuj Gurg and Anuj Gurg sir and all of the other uh, training and placement department it was a good opportunity for all of us and uh, and as i said like most of the questions were driven towards um, these particular subjects um and then from there forward we got an opportunity to do internship uh, with amazon during our eighth semester uh which went pretty well uh in in the sense that uh, uh uh, like uh, for me personally speaking, I was only aware of a particular programming language, which was C. I was not aware of any other languages. Uh, like I knew a bit and bits of uh, uh, like Java, but uh, not not much into any other pro uh, like Spring framework or anything. Whatever we talk right now. But once you get into that, with the given sort of environment, uh, you start trending to learn all of these things with time and. Uh, uh, that, that that's that's how my journey has been then we did a lot of quite interesting work within those six months we learned a lot of things like there were a couple of other people from our college uh, we did a lot of um, like it, it was a good learning exposure for both all three of us and from there we got a, a pre-placement offer as uh, software developers in amazon and from there the journey has been pretty much like that for the last four years so uh, quite a journey and uh, from St. Xavier's to uh, close to St. Petersburg. Yeah. So, so it, it's uh, uh, amazing. And uh, uh, just wanted, uh, 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 as you were talking about, I also remember the, the day of process of Amazon. Mm -hmm. So uh, can, can we briefly talk about how, how was the process of Amazon? I remember it was a pen paper test. Hmm. And uh, um, what was the stages at that time, just for the, hmm. um, setting the context, ki kya pucha gaya tha aap se and what were the, I think there were multiple interviews and one and yeah. one going and taking you to the next panel and then two people sitting and then they are pulling you to the fourth person. Hmm. So how, if you, if you remember. Yeah, so so since uh, like for all the internship projects, like what they generally have is like uh, uh, we have um, uh, like similar to what we have for other companies, we have a uh, first um, uh, MCQ round where we were asked 50, 60 questions on uh, all the basic concepts of data structures, algorithm, data, databases, Linux, base system, and which is primarily related to computer science. And uh, once you clear that, then we had a coding round where they targeted a specific set of data structures where they wanted us to solve these sort of questions. I, st I still remember I was asked questions on trees and linked lists, uh, which, um, uh, which, which paved the way for the interview round. So these two rounds, when they were conducted up i think only 50 to 60 people got selected into the coding round and after that uh, i guess like uh, like then the numbers just went down after the coding round then the interview rounds are quite peculiar here like we had three rounds of interviews like with each round lasting around uh, an hour or something and um, these rounds were specifically they have a specific set of questions that they ask to check like if you are at par with uh, uh, the specific bar that they have set against a specific rule. And um, for me, uh, like the first interview went quite well. So they, they asked me more and more about normalizations, what we study in databases, which is quite visible in all our database, uh, like uh, subjects that we learn during our course. And then there were many questions about Linux. So these were the first set of questions that were asked they grilled me on that particular in that particular round and the next round was quite uh, on the pro competitive programming like they where they were testing the logical ability of a question like are they able to crack logical questions or not so that was something that they tested 
and uh, yeah and then surely they asked me more about the project works that i have done uh, where i was able to convince with whatever i had in my place that it was a pretty good like it, like it was a project that i did by myself completely i was able to convince that and so kind of happened well so and uh, then the next round was kind of more towards the manager round where uh, uh they asked more about um, like designing course sort of questions from let's say class uh, oops basic designing the class designing and uh, uh, let's say they'll give you a particular question um you have to design let's say uber or amazon or uh, uh google so they'll ask you how you would uh, break down the processes within each company and how are you going to place it against uh, like how are you going to place your systems uh, uh, so that they interact with each other and they just wanted to ask like how that entire architecture would look like and uh, uh in all what was consistent all uh, across all the interviews where uh the algorithms and uh, the data structures they play like a critical role because that is something that they expect from a fresher and they really don't uh, ask like if you are aware of any flashy technology let's take for example uh, machine learning yeah it is definitely an add on for you but that will only get into picture first you once you crack all the basic constructs of programming so yeah so that that's something that's how that happened and then probably after some round of discussions uh, we got uh, the internships offer i think there is some network issue with uh, sandeep and he'll be joining back he's back uh, it's okay okay yes yes sorry i think there was some network issue okay okay yeah so you're telling I... about uh, your last interview experiences yeah so the last round was pretty much the manager round as i said like and it was more around uh, like uh, designing and architecture in the in a, like they were be giving a specific uh, domain like let's say design uber or design amazon and they're going to test like if you're able to place the relevant details around this like are you able to place a specific uh, Uh, like are you able to design things uh, the way it should be and that's something that they had tested and then yeah what was consistent is they are going to ask a lot of questions around data structures algorithms and uh, databases if necessary if you are applying for a software developer job so that that's going to be consistent and um, once you are able to prove yourself in that particular aspect then they're going to turn into more of your project based things and other tech technologies that you have excelled in so yeah so uh, quite an experience and i remember it was it was quite late night and you guys got the offer and i think you were the first to be told yes sir, you have been taken in and that was a time when uh, there was a lot of uncertainty is an internship offer or will it be converted to a campus offer Yeah. and uh, were you believing that you could convert it to a campus offer and uh, what was honestly at that point of time appearing for amazon ye uh, how it will be all about uh while appearing for the interviews i definitely didn't think that i'm going to clear it but uh, as i said right if you clearly clearly focus on the basic things like they are not going to ask you like superficial and super uh, uh super super fancy things to you so they're going to ask you only the simple things so yeah if you keep your basics and the core things clear then yeah it should be okay like that's what i think but yeah even after getting like um, like an internship offer it's not guaranteed that you might get a full time offer because yeah once you get into the company you'll have to prove your metal there like um, are you at par with all the other people who are working there or not like are you really Uh, in in bar with all the things that the company expects you to do so yeah you need to perform pretty well there as well sure so uh, something on your the uh, internship experiences because uh, as you said so let's take the journey from there you got into internship so mm. now you have uh, you are in between you don't know whether you are a campus select mm. or you are a reject and the chances I, even you don't know how much are the chances so how internships in big companies like amazon played a role with your story if you can guide and how different it was from a college coming up uh, to a, a big city with a good stipend in hand hmm. so your your aapke internship ki journey ke samay ka kuch if you can uh, guide the students with that 
Okay. So I can tell you about mine. Like it will, it is always like very overwhelming to be part of such internships. Like it, it, it first seems like, like what is happening all around you because you are very new to the office culture. You don't know what exactly is happening. And then you see super smart people around you. It's, it is going to be definitely very overwhelming at first, but when you start actually, uh, like after a couple of weeks, then it starts, like you start soaking into that atmosphere. And then there are always people, mentors and guides available to guide you. Like, uh, uh, I'll be very honest, I didn't know any other programming language apart from C while joining Amazon, as, even as a, uh, like, uh, uh, like a, f a fresher. But uh, then what happened is like, we start to learn a lot of things. You start to work on different, different programming frameworks, languages, let's say Java, Spring framework, front end sites, things like that. You edit these technologies. You start doing that and uh, you're given a specific set of projects to complete within a particular time. And uh, you'll definitely get, get help all around because you are fresher. They don't expect much deliverables from you as such, but then definitely you need to prove that you're willing to do a lot of things and you are invested time in learning new aspects and new things um, and uh, yeah you have to prove that you are willing to work and you are really willing to put hard work into what you're getting and once you start delivering a couple of things then you build the confidence like then you start interacting with people you yeah that's another aspect you need to interact with people quite uh, properly like properly in the sense you need to build good connections so that um, uh, you also have good people at your hand like you you whenever you need help you they are there to help you they'll help you getting the things done they'll help you with so many things but yeah ultimately it's on you you need to develop your skills you'd have to dive deep into many of the other like practices software practices and things like by yourself do you remember uh, your boss calling in and telling you he you can now, and there was a, there was an incident I remember. Hmm. Said so, uh, you were into internship, and I think you also had an offer from some other company, and yeah. uh, uh, as a day one company, bulk recruitment company coming in. So yeah. I, uh, I called you during the internship, and I told you, Sandeep boss, uh, hmm. by mistake I have said that uh, yeah. the company that you are not going to join, your name was there. Mm. Uh, we, need, we need to share the list of students who are not joining the company. So your name has gone. Mm. So now your offer of that company is not holding. Yeah. So I remember you said, Kisa, it's okay if I don't get an offer, I'll find some better place, but I'll mm. not go back to the bulk recruiter. So mm. how, how, how was uh, the time when you got to know that oh, you, you have been offered now? Uh, like it, it feels very bad of course like it feels like you're jobless because we don't have a certainty that i'm gonna get a pre-placement offer from amazon it was like very uh like very uncertain but yeah that actually helped uh, me to actually invest more time in learning more and i used to lag around during late nights to at least get whatever i have in and whatever opportunity i first tried but yeah that definitely helped me in putting more efforts than the others so that uh, like at least complete the gap whatever i was missing to get the pre-placement offer but yeah it, it it was challenging but yeah it it's it was kind of uh, like overwhelming for me at that time so the moment you got to know that you are now uh, your internship got complete so how did they like announce the offer and <coughs> did you call and how was your feeling at that time going back from St. Xavier's to finally getting okay now you're a part of Amazon like if you just for that inspirational moment if you want to share yeah, I remember like uh, while we were in third semester and also I have a couple of friends uh, who were in the same batch. We used to walk around that Sharma coaching classes. We used to go for data sector classes. We had no idea what he was teaching, but we used to walk around there coming back. And we used to say, bro, when are we going to get into big companies like Facebook or Amazon? Would, would we ever even get that chance? But then where, this is the first thing that I remembered when I got to get uh, got like uh, like uh, from a manager telling me that you've been like getting a full time offer. So this is something that I remember till now. Like, uh, I mean, we being from a uh, two tier college, it becomes very difficult to aspire so big. Like it doesn't, it, it is like not unachievable, but it because it, it is really a matter of opportunity. If you get opportunities, definitely uh, all of us can do well. So that's something that I still remember and I talk with my friends. Great. So next time when you're in Bhopal, we'll talk on the same, we'll walk on the same lane. Yeah. We'll tell people that, yes, 
<laughs> you could be a part of it uh, anyway so yes thank you you have been always uh, supporting the alma mater and today on the cii young india forum coming up and talking openly to students sharing your success mantras with students so that they can inspire and walk the same steps and probably uh, uh, be at a place uh, somewhere you are or somewhere near to you so uh, in this career path shala sandeep we we majorly focus on uh, your advices uh, ki a fresher ko uh, from college what are the skills uh, they should look at i was very much uh, i remember that a lot of subject knowledge you were talking about gate studies the the syllabus is good but people should uh, learn it well so uh, as a fresher what skills companies look at uh, at the moment प्रोडक्ट कंपनीज एक फ्रेशर के से आज के समय आपने तीन साल पहले किया चार साल पहले अभी फ्रेशर से व्हाट आर द एक्सपेक्टेशन टू मेक अ लॉन्ग टर्म कैरियर इन आईटी नॉट जस्ट अ शॉर्ट टर्म वन बट अ लॉन्ग टर्म तो व्हाट आर द स्किल सेट और द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर फ्रेशर्स ओके आई कैन टेल यू अबाउट द एक्सपीरियंसेस लाइक दैट आई हैव सीन लाइक लाइक वी वर पार्ट ऑफ सम ऑफ द इंटरव्यू पैनल्स वे वी वर हायरिंग इंटर्न्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉलेजेस अक्रॉस एंड सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज लाइक द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट फर्स्ट हर्डल दैट ऑल ऑफ देम नीड्स टू क्लियर इज बेसिकली द बेसिक basics of कंप्यूटर साइंस व्हिच इज ऑल अलोंग योर को कैरियर लाइक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आई हैव बीन Uh, like uh, pressing on this thing again and again you need to be quite thorough with data structures even if it's that in a very simple language let's say c or java it doesn't matter but you need to be very thorough with it and then you need to be very agile with your um, algorithm so for that you need to be very uh, hands on with lot of problem solving you have to do that like is that is the first step where a particular interview judges if you are even capable of solving such things or not like all the product company even even of uh, like if you take facebook microsoft oracle any company this is the first step that they're going to see from a pressure are you aware about uh, aware of all of these things or not at the time complexity whatever you learned during your scheduled course that is something that's going to come back to you even after 10 years if we take interviews of people who are after 12 years so this is something that's going to be there like if this is something that's going to be asked for a software development role always so that's something that you need to focus and the second thing that mm-hmm. there's been a major trend shift is like people focus a lot of a uh, lot on the projects that you are doing so have you done any sort of project by yourself in a sense like uh, um Uh, wh- how did you experiment with so many things so the reason why they do that is are you open up open for uh, experimenting experimentations are you open up for learning new technologies that's something that they gauge from that particular uh, questions like definitely having a good project that you have done independently with Uh, like little or no help from someone else that's going to add and that is going to give you more confidence like um, appearing for many interviews because having a project with behind you let's say you have some project and put it on github or some place and then put it on your linkedin on your resume that's going to add charm charm to your resume so that is also something that uh, the companies look forward to and uh, apart from that each and every other company has a specific set of uh, guidelines based, based on which they judge like it may be very different for different different companies but the underlying structure is like they are going to see if you are willing to invest time learn things and are you open for exposure and are you actually interested in this particular thing and so that that's something that the basic things that's happening i think like uh, i have myself given couple of other interviews uh, uh, even after joining here but yeah so this is something that they expect even from a fresher so we have shikha our uh, uh, student uh, representative she mm. has uh, also joined in welcome welcome shikha so anything you want to yes sir ask yes Yes, sir. first of all, welcome, sir, to the career path, Shala. And I have one question: that uh, what personality traits should a fresher build in to work in an MNC? Okay, uh, yeah, I can answer that because, like, what I think is like this is just a personal opinion, but yeah, something that you need to really focus is on your communication skills because the industry that we are really in that really plays a good key part in your success and in your career forward. So nobody is asking you to say flashy English or anything like that, but 
good enough english so that you can communicate whatever is in you is imparted into someone else because that's something that you can build over the course of four years very easily like even if you take one year that's something that you can do pretty easily and then like the attitude that you show towards your work let's say somebody asks you about your project so what they gauge you on is like are you showing any willingness to learn outside of your purview of work are you do are you able to grasp that or not so things like that is something that people really look forward to i hope that answers yes yes sir sure sir a good cake without icing is not going to sell so so there should be some icing on the cake your personality your traits your the confidence of talking your interpersonal skills and uh, once you go into a multinational company there is a there is lot of cross culture there is lot of uh, uh, knowing yourself and then uh, speaking out fearlessly meeting new people so these are things uh, it's uh, not just communication skill but uh, the yeah. ability to communicate in all possible ways so uh, a bit about uh, it has been said like sandeep i observed a lot of people getting into jobs good jobs but at times they don't grow in that job so a lot of product companies as is the theme of our topic also mm. so how um, they can in their first years of their job mm. uh, what type of challenges are there you are now suddenly believable you have a pressure and you also need to grow you need to first survive mm. then put yourself up grow and Uh, continuously uh, be on the uh, meet out the demands of your project of your team and uh, uh, shine higher so mm. getting into is easier so surviving is difficult and growing is really tough so mm. your words for people because that could that is also an important advice which mm. you can give uh, very frankly with uh, the students yeah so uh, um, to be very honest it's like it's not just about the programming skills that you know or like how you deliver things it's also about how you connect with people because these that plays a very important role in like shaping up your career like even if you don't have like like say super awesome coding skills or super awesome designing skills it's okay but what you need to do is you need to take people along with you and you are willing to work with other people to get the things done so irrespective of like you are super awesome or not so that's something that you will learn by like with time you're going to learn like uh, uh how do i say it like uh, um uh when the moment you start interacting with a lot of people you know like what different perception is uh, you are willing to intake lot many ideas that's one step to move forward towards that and what i see from in a lot of pressures and a lot of people is that like they they tend not to switch even after a year or two if even if they don't like the job just to be on the safe side but that's not going to help like maybe it is going to be very fruitful in the short term but eventually you have to switch your company within a year or two if that's not really helping even if it that which means internal switch or like let's say company switch that's this is definitely going to give you a lot many insights about uh, uh, different processes different things because the it industry is way too worse than what we think during what we are in college like we think that it's specific thing that we need to do i just build, need to build this program and this is going to solve a particular problem but that's not how it, it it looks like from the outside but definitely it's much bigger than that so you need to uh be really open to uh like grasping ideas from others like taking people along with you and always open to new opportunities like you shouldn't shy away from taking new responsibilities let's say some you a manager needs this yes just step forward and get that done and then definitely you can like move towards your uh, career like let's say what are the trending things let's say you are very much interested in cloud software but you can start learning that you can start doing pro projects on that and then probably apply for some job immediately if you're not happy with your current uh, position so that's something that uh, i would say i think anurag sir is on a call Maybe if you have some questions, check her again. Yeah, sir. So. I'm not on a call. I'm not on a call. Yes. So uh, there is some uh, requirements. So I was just hearing you about it, and uh, uh, very well said that how to grow about in the company. So also, Sandeep, you were uh, we, we were talking about uh, as a fresher. Now students are at their home. The or they cannot go to any classes sharma verma or any classes so now how how they can uh, use this online as an opportunity to learn some good resources which you can uh, recommend for 
self learning so that mm. students can develop their profile for the product company mm. like amazon or any other company and some good sites for uh, maybe for taking test from certification and for learning okay uh, like from programming competitive programming uh, pro wise like there are many sites like let's say geeks for geeks lead code hacker earth or like there are many sites but you need to stick stick to a one particular thing and start doing solving the question and like whatever you are quoting maybe you can upload it to let's say github or some place just start doing that and then there are many sites where you can learn about uh, let's uh, i remember there is an nptel site where i used to study about the basic things so that is something very helpful because that gives you an in, in depth understanding of the basic core things of your subject so that's one thing to do to learn these basics and then apply it on to all the uh, coding uh, sites like lead code is something that i would uh, ask people to join and geeks for geeks is also kind of a good site which can be used for solving so so many problems so if you go into these sites right, they can give you a proper insight about like how the interview experience is for example for google they'll say these are the rounds these are the questions that they ask because there are many questions that they ask outside of uh, even outside of programming right so you can get a proper insight about these things like uh, the uh, each round lasts for this then this is happening after this these are the things that they expect so that's that these two sites are kind quite recommendable and you can start uh, like if you are pretty much interested in this this gives you a proper insight about all the big companies and what questions they're going to ask so all the companies they i can really tell that they have a definitive set of questions which then are reiterated again and again to all the other uh, like uh, people appearing for the interview so there is a high chance that if you go through these questions they might uh, you might be asked the same question so yeah these two sites are going to be really helpful so we were talking about the culture of a multinational company and uh, you may be having a, so we just also want to know how how your company's culture is uh, amazon office in hyderabad is definitely in news and it has been hmm. in, in a big way news so how how the culture of uh, companies like amazon is and uh, how easily you are approachable to your seniors and uh, how what type of learnings and uh, that fascinates people to be a part of companies like amazon yeah so one of the good things about a uh, company like amazon is you get space to develop yourself uh, when i say that like you get to innovate on so many things there is no particular restriction on any sort of technology like at least if you are into software development you don't really have to worry about any sort of technology you are given a problem statement or a business statement you need to solve it nobody cares what technology are you using but you just need to present like this is my idea this is i'm i'm going to do if the senior people who are always there for your guide you they'll tell you yes this looks good they're definitely going to ask so many questions they cross question you uh, why did you choose this why is this it this way this and that but that's always a, a growing like a learning opportunity for you and uh, uh, so that's something that i'm trying to say ki, like you don't have to restrict yourself to a particular technology for uh, for the time for like just for instance like all the all the software industries are moving towards cloud based technologies for all of the uh, like product development so here as well like uh, you get to choose between multiple uh, uh, services provided by cloud services to to shape up your development and shape up your designs and things like that so that that's apparently how the tech work culture is but then also you work with many many people senior people who are from different different organizations i remember like we used to have people from oracle we used to have people from iits that is all kind of a learning experience for someone who is from a two day college so it, it it really is good but then at the end of the day it is uh, like a profitable company so yeah you're going to have a lot of um, challenging task you are going to compete against your peers you'll have to prove your metal but if you are quite honest with your things then i don't think it should be any problem for you so it, it's just that uh, you need to quite be quite focused towards your work beat and also have like it's not just like just be very much geeky and be into the computer but also you need to start interacting with people you need to start build relationships with people because you start exploring when you let's say if you want to switch all these connections are definitely going to help you so yeah yeah uh, that's that's pretty much i think most of the companies are like in this so also just wanted to understand how this covid is going to bring a change because uh, uh, this going to be a more pressure on companies like amazon google 
uh, the business suddenly needs more of IT demands and uh, the entire commerce, e-commerce, and a uh, lot of uh, uh, the buying patterns of people, especially at a lower level to higher level. The malls are not being operational full. So that is bringing a lot of challenges and uh, pressure on companies like Amazon, Google, mm-hmm. and many others who have been into this field. So how is uh, the present uh, change in the scenario uh, bringing any change in the company culture or demands? And uh, we are also hearing a lot of uh, operations and business coming to India. But we want to talk more about how technology change and uh, um, what would be the new line of business and technology change with the covid scenario mm. definitely like if you uh, let's say let's specific if i be very specific about amazon you can see there's a growing demand for online e retail you see a lot of other markets being uh coming into picture like uh, let's say you, you might know about geo bringing so many things so online retail e-commerce financials so everything is getting uh, online so this is definitely a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, um how do i say a lot more expectations from these companies and for to cater to such needs there's a growing demand for software engineers like proper qualified engineers who can make up that particular demand so uh like as you might all be aware of like like you uh getting visa law uh, visa law restrictions in united states there's been a good, so so many job opportunities that were being targeted to us now are being shifted to let's say india you can see like major company plays like amazon google facebook they are setting up their offices in major cities which 30000 capacity which brings in like 30000 30000 software engineering uh, graduates are eligible for applying to such places so the as the demand increases, there is definitely a rise in the opportunities for you as a fresher to capture that. But it's just that you need to start exploring. Like you need to start seeing what where your opportunity lies. Like uh, even if you have like a year or two years of experience, which is kind of raw experience, like and you can definitely switch from one particular uh, you know, technology to another. Well, uh, uh, let's say. Um, I see when like uh, for most of the service based companies, what happens is if a particular guy or girl is targeted to a specific technology, they kind of embed themselves to that and they really don't move from that particular technology. Let's say you're working on SAP and you don't tend to work. You spend like five to six years, but after five to six years, it becomes quite difficult to switch from that context to proper software development. So right now, so here, the kind of opportunities that we have all around, it is quite good. Like even if after a year of experience, even in a particular technology, it's like the raw time for you to switch and uh, switch to these companies because they offer, they have a growing demand and definitely the bar is also going to stay the same, but you need to upgrade yourself with the new technologies and new skills. You need to start learning things, be adaptive to what is happening around the world. So, yeah. So, very true about it. And, um, uh, there's also one thing very common nowadays, like uh, 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 the students who are coming out of college, they both focus on new edge technologies, like they are more into, let's learn cloud, AI, data data science, or uh, IoT. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, and at times they compromise on their basics of data structure, DBMS, software engineering, project mm-hmm. management. Mm-hmm. So what is your advice for students, like how much balance or i think what is the priority as per you the core subject knowledge or uh, adding more of ice and less of cake uh, i would definitely press again like your basics are going to be there for with you forever if you're into software development that's even going to be there even after 10 years you'll be asked questions on data such as and the basics that you have learned during your engineering course but it's just that you need to enhance it so well that you are able to sell it to your interviewers so that's you should always focus first on that and then probably add more technologies or more let's say machine learning machine learning might seem very enticing you might start doing many things on that but at the end of the day that's not what the recruiters are looking at because you'll anyway learn it if you have learned it during your college days then yeah you'll anyway learn it while you're at the company so what they're looking at looking at is are your basics strong enough to compete with all the other peers that you have in your company or not. So yeah, I'll definitely say it again. You need to keep your basics very strong and then probably based on the evolving technologies, you can upgrade yourself as and when you need that. 
so a very important piece of advice for uh, students and uh, to have the basics and then take it forward so uh, i'll take one uh, question it is coming and uh, he wants to know more about your preparedness for the company kya strategy aapne banayi thi is tarah ki taiyari kari ki amazon jaisi company mein aapka hua and uh, you have given each to complete programming development part so like how was your preparation is more more asking about interview experience you already shared so it's a repetition but uh, as a fresher how much time and uh, on what proper subjects should be given more time if you can uh, uh, a, a bit touch upon how much of software engineering how much of ingredients of software engineering operating systems and all put together will result in Hmm. Deep Prasad, who is a part of Amazon. Uh, yeah, sure. So major things are like, um, so I, I I remember I used to prepare for this gate examination, and as you know, right, that exam contains about only those examine only those courses which are part of your curriculum. So all you need to do is brush up your knowledge. You know everything. It's just that enhancing that. Let's say you just don't restrict yourself to theoretical things. Theoretical things you might know about. Uh, Uh, you might know about a lot, so many things like uh, I have to use linked list, but if you don't know how to apply, if you have given a problem statement, if you don't know how to apply it, then it doesn't matter if you know that in a theoretical way or not, right? So first thing is like uh, I, what I did is like I used to solve as many questions I could get like based on trees, trees, uh, tries, linked list, hash map, things like that. So these are things which you really need to focus on. That's what I try to do, and it kind of helped me because the questions that were asked to me in the interviews they were similar of the similar kind that I had prepared like prior to giving the interview. That's one. And then let's talk about operating systems and things like that, right? So they are all going to be very helpful to you if you you are anyway learning it for your exam. Just try to brush it up to a level that you you know. it completely like you know what is exactly expected out of what you learn what you are actually learning so that's something that I, i would also say and these are all the basic things that you need to do and you need to solve hundreds of questions again and again and again and again and then there are a repetitive pattern of questions that all the companies ask so if you are lucky then that will definitely be asked so i was lucky enough that couple of question that was asked to me i was already aware of so i could answer that pretty quickly so that only comes with uh, like many uh, coding challenges being solved you have to spend a lot of time solving these questions and uh, you'll reach a uh, you definitely reach a time when um, you don't really have to look for like even if you are given a new statement based on your past experiences you can um, easily tamper that question like easily solve that question i hope that answer also uh, sandeep like uh, people are usually uh, uh, fascinated between um, and uh, a bit confused they uh, uh, probably when they will settle in a good company or a job they look at let's do a masters or the a pg program in engineering or mba or maybe mostly into engineering my con the background is there that uh, is uh, how, how is your the thought process because i think you also have quite a good experience now so uh, and you might also have a similar confusion or your friends he mm-hmm. should i take a break or a sabbatical and uh, mm-hmm. or should i do it it should be a short thing or it could be a good thing of taking a break of going for pg or is it a requirement or it, it it's a call a person has to take so sometimes that is also very bit uh, confusing for people yeah it's definitely a good thing not a should thing because it depends upon how you are spending your time like uh, uh, spending let's say for a year and a half you have been working tremendously you might have gained enough knowledge that you don't really require to go do and masters again because what are you going to learn there if you invest that time learning all these things if you know that uh, this is what i expect out of masters you can definitely do that while being at the same company and you need to be very clear like what are you actually expecting out of that masters are you looking for For some research sort of work, are you looking to uh, like get a good job with a good pay? Then, then th- that that should be the point of motivation if you really want to go there or not. If you are just expecting a good pay, then if you have gained enough knowledge, if you have learned enough knowledge, you can definitely take a switch and go to any company like that. But if you uh, are just doing, uh, if you if you want to do some, let's say, uh, into a specific domain or a specific research field, then I would say yes, it might make sense. But if your ultimate motivation is to just get a good job based on 
uh, uh, just be, what most of the people think is like just doing masters would guarantee that uh, you can definitely get a good job but it's not always the case you have to work hard there you'll have to brush up your skills there that is something that you can do even while you are at this company that you wherever you are you can still brush it up and you can learn so many things that's what my personal take is because i learned enough like uh, what i think is i've kind of learned enough of the thing which i couldn't have learned if i have put have went into uh, like masters so if it, like working in a company definitely gives you another layer of exposure it's not just about programming or solving a particular problem it also talks about your business because each company is anyway driven by business it gives you business insights and things like that it helps you go overall so yeah a very important and uh, a piece of uh, advice from Sandeep that uh, we should, uh, even working is also a learning and when you work, you learn. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, it's like you, you learn very relevant with uh, the customer needs. And I think uh, a master's take a year or two and but uh, uh, working for clients, finishing a project is equivalent to a master's. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of online good opportunities which you can uh, avail while uh, working also. So uh, Sandeep, it has been a quite a very informative session and uh, um, uh, we, we would like, uh, we really thank you for giving so much insights into it. And um, final comments for the people who are in COVID times in India, a lot of um, uh, hopes for campus placements and uh, career opportunities, people uh, who have passed out of college who are in their first and second years of college. So your final concluding remarks for Career Patshala and really uh, I, I was talking to Sandeep that the things in Netherlands, especially in Amsterdam are get, getting normal, uh, like COVID scenario, they're coming up with it. And uh, now we uh, hearing the second wave probably hitting, but India being a country with uh, such a big population, the opportunities and uh, we were talking that uh, if a UPSC exam is conducted in Amsterdam, people would not make so much commitment for studying and uh, clearing it. The type of competition uh, the Indian youth is uh, facing and preparing, we really respect that talent. You know, such type of talent across the globe is not available. The type of commitment towards their future, the investment our youth is doing. And uh, we definitely hope uh, India being a digital superpower will uh, get more opportunities for the kids and uh, a better opportunities. So your concluding remarks for uh, your juniors for making a, a good time career and uh, meeting you in, uh, in person sometimes. So your yeah. final concluding remarks. I would say these are like exciting times for all of us. Just don't lose hope and you just start uh, you just need to do what you are required to do. Just keep doing that and definitely you will end up somewhere really good and just uh, don't lose hope. Like it's pretty normal once you get into company, you get frustrated very easily. Then you try to switch careers altogether. But it's not just that. Like uh, with this COVID things coming up, it's quite evident. Like evident that uh, opportunities within so many companies are going to come again back to India, and you'll have a lot of opportunities. Just try, try doing the good work. Like being at home, it is a luxury. I used to tell my brother. Like he had like six months to shape up his career, learn new things, which he never does. But still, uh, it's a good opportunity for all of you guys to do like being at home. It's just a luxury, right? So rather than spending most of the time on Netflix, just like do that. But still keep doing an interesting things, start building some projects and things like that. Uh, not being a super nut, but still, uh, if you really expect you have to give one push in your life, you it's good if you can do that route. let's say if you get placed into a super awesome company right now your life is gonna be pretty smooth going forward like otherwise like uh, and th that would be really, uh, advice. utilize your time properly if you if you if you have the opportunity to do so many awesome things just do it when you have the time trust me after getting into a job you might not get these luxurious times at all very true so uh, thank you Sandeep and uh, we are at the closure of our uh, event. Shikha, you have vote of thanks and uh, before we close. Sure, sir. Thank you so much, sir. First of all, I got a little bit late. 
so uh, but at last i would just say it was a really very informative session and with your words that utilizing our time and just uh, trying and try and try and we were very delighted to have you here sir and thank you so much for joining in and i hope all the students who are looking in the same stream in the same field will get a uh, motivated and will get a uh, a clear sight on their feeds so thank you so much sir for joining in and we are fortunate enough to have you here thank you yeah. thanks sandeep uh, your journey inspires a lot of students that uh, opportunity is not uh, limited to the name of college but uh, to the talent you carry and aap kuch bhi ho kahin bhi ho aap apna knowledge badhate chaliye the world is open you can get opportunities anywhere through your college through lot of coding contests to hackathons and uh, try reaching to people whom you know maybe you can reach out to sandeep on linkedin and uh, that is where i just connected with him and he said ki sir let me also uh, it was so nice of him with so much work pressure living alone at uh, amsterdam and um, still he made it ki let let me go back and help my um, students there and it's really feel proud that yes he made it to to campus placement in amazon because it's not an easy thing and uh, then growing there and uh, we really thank you uh, sandeep up for coming in sparing time and uh, be safe and uh, thank you so much sandeep for being here yep no worries all the best guys thank you bye 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 so friends we uh, we will be having a very special show tomorrow with indian air force carrier in indian air force this will not be a recorded session it will be only live as per the security norms uh, we will we will be deleting the video after the broadcast in our facebook and youtube channels in all the facebook channels and youtube uh, uh, videos where it is so uh, we meet you at 11 am indian standard time sharp Uh, so guys those who want to know more about rafael uh, let's talk about and hear from the people who are driving so uh, uh, all are invited uh, uh, at the pre launch of our independence day to celebrate the power uh, our uh, indian air force has made so we i'll be waiting for you to meet you tomorrow at 11 am thank you shikha and thank you kaidar parshala uh, signing off for today thank you so much